Sound like that one commercial. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've just been going around the neighborhood for some bulk at and extra bulk at and stuff. I found any. But the fact is is that I didn't find any. A new hickey. I didn't find anything. So bolts and here's this thing. Wow. Oh, it comes with three pieces here. Get my instructions out. Watch me. So we're gonna do it this way. Let me grab a five gallon bucket. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright. Got some pretty high quality pictures here. Oh yeah. Install 5 8 bolt. Well, uh, do you have to say these all are the same thing? So we can just pick the one, pick any, pick any of these that we want. Alright, step one. First off, I need to look. Okay. That's gonna go there. And we done gonna get. See, that wasn't good. Then we done got this. Uh, Got this doohickey in the hauler. Wait a minute, this is right. This isn't anywhere near right. Because these here are three eighths. And I think we're supposed to take the hitch ball off, which I had loosened it purposely for this, yes, for today. Okay. Oh, don't go away. I need you. So, we got this right here. Oh, okay. So, then, take this, and then, we take this, and then, we're going to have a part two, because I'm not going to be able to bolt everything on. I'm just going to get the mount put together first. Because I actually, thinking about it, I have to take this right wheel off. And the ground is super wet, and the driveway is super wet where I would do it, so not in the mood to do that tonight. So then that's going to be tightened. Okay. Step one. Push tight to back of tractor. Step three, bolt and slot. Okay, I did that, sir. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, 
just took two and stalled five eighths bolt and slot. So since this is really not in great shape, this bracket actually won't work since it's so bent. And we're gonna have this guy here. Okay, so they give you four bolts for this. So then you take, get the spacer off of here. You take this, and then you go like this. I have to have a wrench on top and stuff to get that there. So then this is gonna So when all this is tight, then it's gonna look like this. Then I think what wants you to do is you have two left over. I think what you're supposed to do you're supposed to bolt this here. So it's tight. So, I think this is kind of how it's going to look. And then you have. Uh, oh, shoot, let that deal out, but it's alright. I'm actually going to go watch a video real quick just to see. Um, but then you're going to have this guy here. And then you're gonna have this for the back of it, and then um, you're gonna have this here for right here. And you're gonna bolt those suckers in there real tight, and Right there is how we're gonna do it. So, anyways, I I'm losing daylight right now. It's really wet out, and I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow. I can mess with it, mess with it in the shed. Um, but what this will do is you'll have your weight here, and then this will put the weight. It's hard. I'm having trouble describing this. Then it'll distribute more uh, weight right here so and it won't bend your tongue it just kind of pulls the back frame of the tractor and set it all the weight onto this part so anyways guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video we will be getting this together tomorrow I'm gonna keep that nice don't want it on this wet ground as you can see over there it's really wet tires are all wet oh yeah We're just not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna put these here, these here two bolts in the bag. I thought I'd be able to install it tonight. I'm gonna watch a video to make sure this is all right. Um, get it all nice and tight uh, tomorrow. So we'll be figuring this all out. Um, we'll not be finishing this today. So, anyways, so hope you enjoyed the video. As always, hope you did. Um, we'll be getting more into this. Um, this is here. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. And then, I'm going to try to hook the trailer up. Put the Honda. Put a weed eater. Put two gas cans. I might go with the whole setup. But we'll have to see. I think the main mower that's going to be on the trailer. Um, in leaf cleanup season. We're going to have both mowers on there and a blower, two blowers and gas cans, and that'll be the setup for that. But uh, we're going to see how this thing handles with this. I'm not going to put too much weight on the transmission 
it doesn't damage it, but it just seems, I don't like straining the transmission. I just feel like it strips the gears and stuff, so I just don't want to mess with that. So, that's what we're going to do with that. I, I sound congested, I'm just, my nose has been weird all day. Um, anyway, so, I guess that we'll see you guys later. Anyway, so, anyways, bye. Continue on this tomorrow. Anyways.